Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos about DIY home decor, home decor hauls, and interior design. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to take your design style to the next level by sharing my favorite designers with you. About two years ago, I designed this living room at our apartment back in Phoenix, and I thought I killed this design, okay? It wasn't horrible, it's just my design style has changed a lot since then, and I've learned a lot of tricks and tips through these designers that I'm able to implement in my home and make it look a lot more professional. Today I'm going to be sharing those designers with you and things each designer does that you can implement in your home and make it feel like it was designed by an interior designer. So even if these designers aren't exactly your style, you can still take away a lot from this video with just the simple design tips and tricks that we're going to be talking about today. This is my living room now. I just feel like I've learned so much in the past two years because I really made this a passion of mine and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So with that being said, let's get into the designers. Okay, so first we have Pure Salt Interiors and these guys fit my aesthetic perfectly. They do such a good job at keeping things simple but still making them feel so cozy and relaxing. All right, you guys, so we're just on Pure Salt's website. I'm going to show you guys around and show you some of the things that they do really well. We're just going to go to their portfolio, and this one right here is one of my favorite projects. So you kind of see their entryway there, but we're going to look at the kitchen. So one of the things Pure Salt does so well is their ability to incorporate earthy textures, materials into their designs. So when you take a look back at these rooms, they really have this down-to-earth casual feel. So when you take a look at the materials they chose to incorporate here, we have a leather bar stool, we have rattan pendant lights and like a stonish vase. We have a marble cutting board and marble countertops as well. We have some wood flooring and that just really ties everything together and makes it feel earthy. Same thing here with this little countertop vignette. We have wood cutting boards as well as a marble cutting board, paper, stone, salt and pepper shakers. And when you take a look at this open shelving vignette here, we have yet again the same thing. We have a plant down here, obviously it looks very real, like it's from the earth. We have the wooden shelving, we have stoneware, we have antlers from an animal, we have more stoneware and more greenery. And that really just ties everything together and makes it look very natural and down to earth. Same thing when you kind of back up from that little vignette and we see the full dining room. We have greens, wood, rattan, and linen any fabrics which just keeps everything feeling very light but cozy at the same time okay so next we have this insanely gorgeous bedroom and i want to talk about pure salt's use of color now if you look at the room you will notice it has color but it is not overly bright in fact the only things that really have a pop of color in this bedroom are the pillows and what's on the nightstands, the lamp and the flowers. But because they're standing out against this otherwise very neutral room, it really creates a pop of color and adds visual interest. So another thing they do is they use complementary colors, which is very visually pleasing on the eye. So blue and orange are opposite each other on the color wheel, and they use both subtle shades of orange and blue to make it an overall pleasing look. Now this isn't a design must do, but it definitely helps if you wanna give your room a little extra edge. You can see here again, we have the blue lamp and the orange flowers, very subtle, but very visually pleasing. And when you add those muted colors together against this neutral room, you really don't need that much color to make a pop of an impact, if that makes sense. Also, I'm obsessed with this Santorini print that they have. I know they sell that in their print shop on their website. Yet here we have another orange chair. See, it's not orange. It just has hues of orange and it's very muted and subtle. Same thing with this mirror. The warmer tones in the woods play off this leather um, bench. And it really just subtly ties everything together in this room. So it all feels very cohesive. So at the end of the day, remember natural textures and little tiny pops of colors from Pure Salt Interiors. Okay, so next we have Blissful Design Studio. And this firm is run by Brittany, who's actually based out of Tempe, Arizona, where I actually, fun fact, used to live for the last six years before we moved to North Carolina. 
I never met her, but she seems really freaking cool. She was the first interior designer that I ever followed on Instagram or any kind of social media. So I feel like she has kind of made an impact on me just because that was the main thing I was looking to. When I wasn't even that interested in interior design, I just thought it was fun to look at. So I feel like her style has been very influential to me. All right, guys, so we are just at blissfuldesignstudio.com. We're going to be taking a little look around here. And I did just want to say, I forgot to say in the intro, I am by no means an interior designer. These are just things that I have learned along the way and thought would be fun to share with you guys. The next thing we're going to be talking about in her designs are contrast. All right, you guys, so we're just going to take a look at 49th Drive right here. And if you look at the vanity where we have bright white countertops and cabinets. Those are contrasted with black poles and black faucets and a black bathtub and even hints of black in the tile. And this creates so much more visual interest than if it was all whites and tans and taupes. She does the same thing over here in the shower with a lighter tile and a black bottom. And as you can see, she did the same thing over here in the kitchen with this white island contrasted with the black pendants and the black bar stools. She also has two-tone countertops, which are very trendy right now with the black in the back and the white on the island. And I think this is a really great thing to keep in mind when we are all designing our spaces. It's so easy to get caught up in making everything bright and white, but you really do need those darker elements to create more of a pop and ground your space. Otherwise, things can tend to fall flat and get lost in the whiteness, if that makes sense. Okay, so next we're going to be moving on to talking about mixed metals. So this means you don't have just one metal throughout a room. You mix different metals throughout it. So you can see we have the brass gold pendants, but then we have a black faucet. We also have gold pulls and we have gold hardware hanging in the shelf over here and we have black cording on the pendant lights and also the bar stools are gold as well. So this is primarily gold. So when you are doing mixed metals, you want to pick a dominant metal. So in this case, it would be gold and then you have an accent metal, which in this case would be black. It used to be a rule to match all your metals, but now we are seeing majority mixed metals in most designs. So this is kind of the kitchen from another angle where you can kind of see the mix here. And I am obsessed with this counter backsplash that goes all the way to the ceiling. I love those handmade tiles. So beautiful. This is just such a gorgeous kitchen, so I wanted to show it. There's also another mixed metal pendant light here. And next, I'm going to kind of be showing you guys some of her bathrooms that have this mixed metal trend as well. It's very common in bathrooms. So here you can see the dominant metal would be the silver and the accent metal would be the gold. So mixing metals is just something to keep in mind if maybe you're updating the fixtures for your bathroom and you kind of want to play around with things. Um, this next bathroom we have a gold sink, a gold mirror, and gold canisters all right here. Um, and then the lighting and the hardware are silver so I would still say that the dominant metal is silver in that one even though it's kind of 50 50 in this one we also have some black as the main metal and then gold as the accent with the mirror and the shower fixtures okay so next we have halfway holistic and she is not really a designer she is more of a blogger stay-at-home mom just sharing her home. I really love her because she provides attainable and affordable design solutions. So she's not going to really suggest pottery barn or restoration hardware furniture or anything like that. She's really big on finding dupes and things that look high end, but don't cost high end. She's actually a second grade teacher and she started her blog just as a way to share her health journey with other people. And I think she started putting elements of her style in there and that really took off from there. And now it's primarily just like a home living interior design type blog, which I love following. All right, you guys, so this is Katie's Instagram profile. We're just gonna be taking a look through her stuff so you can kind of get her vibe, but you can see it's very, very neutral. Lots of woods, lots of stone and ceramics, usually complemented by metals. She uses lots of mirrors, she says, cause her place is a bit smaller, which mirrors really help to amplify your space. And we will talk about that later, but you can kind of get a feel for some of her designs. I love this chest that she has, so gorgeous. 
gorgeous. That's Katie. Hey, hey girl. Obviously, she's killing it with the Christmas decor already. Um, this is her working on her blog, which we're actually going to go over to in a second, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a example of her aesthetic before we head over there. Oh, okay, here we are, here we are, and we are going to be talking about curtains here. So this is her blog post on how she hangs curtains. And as you guys can see, they are not hung right at the window. They are hung a little bit above and to the sides. So her curtains aren't actually hanging over the windows. They are hanging over the wall on the sides. And that is a way to elongate your windows, not only making them seem wider, but taller as well. So you will never see a designer hanging their curtains right at the window. You will always see them hanging them a little bit higher so that way it draws your eye up and makes your room feel a lot taller. Okay, so next we have Jasmine Roth and I actually found her via HGTV. She has all these fun ideas that just make you want to implement all her fun designs into your home. So yeah, let's take a look at her. All right, you guys, so we're just here on Jasmine Roth's blog, and she has so many ways on here to just make really fun, creative spaces. I found Jasmine via HGTV. She actually had a show on there, so she has, like, all of her projects that she has done on the show listed on her blog, which is so fun to go through. This was one of my favorite, favorite projects. This one's in Huntington Beach, and it's this cute little home that she did right by the beach. The name of the show is called Hidden Potential. She also has another one called Help I Wrecked My House, but it's so cool because she tags everything that she uses, so you guys can kind of see the break breakdown and it really helps when you're trying to get into a quote-unquote designer frame of mind that was the before and after and I just love the white porch with the little blue door it's so cute okay so this is what I really wanted to show you guys so she creates just really smart storage solutions so this little definitely not a trap door is actually a trap door for shoes because this house was really small and they needed a lot of storage solutions so these are things I feel like the average person doesn't really think about but it's so easy to do and really does make a big impact on your day-to-day -day life which is why we do interior design it's to make us feel happy and comfortable in our homes here is another one so this is the before and after of this fireplace that she designed which number one her material choices are on point and I love the little like mermaid tile look but this mantle, the wooden mantle across there is actually more than just a mantle. She creates a whole storage shelf underneath the mantle. So she puts a hidden hinge in there and the thing actually opens up where you can put games, you know, things that would normally go on your coffee table that you want to hide away. And I just think things like this are so brilliant. So if you check out her blog, she has so many ideas like this and things that are really not that hard to do. So fun fact, I was actually featured on her blog. She has this photo wall of her family that she decided to put more impersonal photos in because she was actually deciding to rent out her house for Airbnb. So she kind of held a photo contest of beach photos and I submitted my photo and I was chosen. Granted, she did pick like, I don't know, like a hundred photos, but still I thought it was pretty cool. I'm trying to find it. I think it's like number 83 or something, but it was a picture I took of the Huntington Beach Pier, which is fun fact where my husband and his family are from that's it right there so that was kind of cool <laughs> okay so next we have design loves detail and design loves detail is run by a girl named molly and she lives in utah where i feel like all of the trendy people live is that just me i don't know she runs this blog she's an interior designer and she shares a lot of designs that she's done of her new home which are stunning like her taste and her style is impeccable but the reason why i love following her is because this girl is the craziest shopaholic I've ever seen. And not that that's a reason to follow somebody, but she shares everything. Like something goes on sale, she is telling you about it. Every day her story is like full of gorgeous furniture pieces, bedding, pillows, stuff like that that you can buy, that it's all just gorgeous. I have no idea how she finds this stuff and she is kind of just like your own personal shopper. All right, you guys, so this is Molly's Instagram profile at Design Loves Detail, and you can kind of see her aesthetic here. I just love the bright colors with 
little pops of contrast and I love her style. It's like probably one of my favorites out of all these designers, but I'm going to show you here. You can see all of her little deal highlights. So this one's like the Wayfair one. And if you click on it, she literally goes through and finds these crazy deals on all this amazingly beautiful stuff and posts it for us. So, I mean... This is like a very, very valuable resource if you want to snag the deals, but these are just some of the things that she kind of posts. And she also does like back in stock alerts too when things go out of stock. So if you follow her, you can kind of like instantly know when things are, you know, back in stock. So here we are now on her blog and this is one of the kitchens she designed and it's just so beautiful. So we're gonna go to client projects here and we are going to go down to one of her guest suite reveals and something that we're going to be looking at here is her use of symmetry which is something a lot of designers will do to make a room feel a lot more high-end and balanced so as you can see this room is very symmetrical we have both of these same nightstands on either side um, three pillows in the back that match then two and the lumbar in the middle um, we also have the thing at the foot of the bed what is that called a bench and this girl is like the link queen and she will literally link everything that she has used in a project which is super helpful um, you can also see here another display of symmetry with this little console table on the back of her sofa I think something that really makes this feel symmetrical is number one this console table is divided into two equal sections but she uses two of the same lamps on either side to balance it out and create just like a more visually pleasing look for the eye and next she does the same thing over here with these accent chairs in my personal opinion two is always better than one it just makes the room look a lot more balanced and sophisticated so that's something to keep in mind too if you are able to have the space for two chairs Okay, so next we have Emily Henderson, and Emily was actually the winner of HGTV's Design Star, which I didn't know when I found her, but once I found her, it all made sense. This girl is insane. Like, she's probably one of the most creative people that I have ever come across. Out of everyone I'm going to tell you about today, I feel like she has the most helpful blog. She originally started her blog first, I think, before she like got big, so I think it's kind of her baby and she still takes really good care of it. LOL, nurse is a blog. <laughs> Anyways, she has just tons of creative tips and ideas and I feel like if you're looking for inspiration and you feel kind of in a rut, definitely check her out. So let's look into some of her designs. All right, you guys, so here we are on Emily's blog. It's so cute. I love the little flower detail up there. There's our girl, Emily. Hey, girl. Um, as you can see, she has so many sections up here. So you can browse by room, like living room, entries, kitchen, laundry rooms. Um, you can see like the biggest design mistake, budget ideas, design trends, design rules, things like that, that just like really help you learn and help you with design planning. Okay, so this is um, actually an article on like how to hang art and things on the wall, but we're gonna be focusing on mirrors. So if you're dealing with with a small space or just maybe even a dark space which is something I feel like almost all of us have mirrors are what you want to be adding to your space if these are one of your problems as you can see here mirrors are usually best placed opposite a large window that way they can reflect the light back into the room and almost act like a second light source they also kind of add a, another dimension into what your eye sees instead of looking at a blank wall you are actually seeing other images of you know the room reflected back to you so it kind of tricks your eye into thinking that the room is bigger than it is so if you're looking around your room and there aren't many mirrors, this might be something you might want to think about replacing a picture in a dark corner with or something like that just to make your home feel a little bit bigger and brighter. As you can see, this is Emily's no fail formula, art for every wall. She really does have so many helpful tips on her website, so be sure to check that out, especially if you are in a design rut and just need some inspiration. Okay, so who would I be if I didn't include Studio McGee? I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say they haven't influenced me at all. I think they're the biggest thing to come around since Joanna Gaines. And if you haven't seen their new show, Dream Home Makeover on Netflix yet, like you have to watch it. It's so fun. And I think I binged the whole thing in like a day. I love their style. They also have a YouTube channel if you binge their show or you don't want to binge their show and you just want to see something on YouTube. They have like kind of a series where Shay, the main designer, she just kind of walks you through 
her homes and her design intentions and ideas and how she kind of came up with stuff and I just loved watching that and I feel like for some reason I learned a lot from watching that so I will link that also in the description but let's take a closer look at them. All right, you guys, so I'm just on Studio McGee's website and this is one of their newest blog posts. And of course it's Christmas and it just looks so cute and cozy. Um, a tip she does mention in this post is you can add a fabric ottoman to warm up a space and make it feel a bit more cozy. So she has a list of ottomans here that are designer approved. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to scroll through a couple images of rooms that they've designed so you can kind of get a feel for it if you're unfamiliar with them. Um, she does tag a lot of the things she uses in her designs. They are really known for like kind of warmer woods like in this chair here contrasted with like dark grays, dark blues, dark blue grays, which I just love. So another thing they're really big on is designing with textures and balancing all of those out. So you'll see the pillows here have texture, the little wicker basket on the linen ottoman balances out like very well with that texture. So now I'm gonna take you over to the McGee & Co digital catalog. This is brand new, it just came out a couple days ago. This is their winter edition. They have lots of beautiful furniture. Of course, it is all super expensive, but I still love to flip through and just get some inspiration. Another thing I've learned from Studio McGee Design is to just like really strip things down and keep it simple. Like if you look at a lot of their rooms, there's not really much going on, but they just make everything play off of each other so well. Everything contrasts with each other, the textures, the colors, the pops, it just really all works. So if you can make that happen, you don't need to go overboard with artwork and you know, decor, it just something about a simple room really speaks louder in some cases. Also, I apologize for all like the little price tags that keep coming up. It's a catalog, so it's just going to do that. But I really think this room is so simple and beautiful. And you can really see all of the textures here. We have the texture fringe on the pillow and the fun age texture of the lamp. I just think that it all really works together so beautifully here. And Shay does really do a great job of coordinating everything. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got some inspiration and maybe are on your way to taking a closer look at one of these designers. It's just kind of my goal with this channel to keep everyone inspired, give everybody new ideas, and share things that maybe you didn't know. So I'm hoping this video did a little bit of that. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you thought. If this is something you guys like, I can do so many more videos because I'm obsessed with designers and I have lots more recommendations, so let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate all the new faces that have come and joined this channel. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!